Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it. I am Penj and welcome to Production Line, which is a game all about making a great big car assembly plant. So we're going to make a lot of cars, they're going to go along these little conveyor type things, and all the stuff's going to happen to them, you know, they're going to have the shells put on and the wheels put on, and they're going to be painted, and all the gadgets are going to be put in, and then eventually they're going to get to the end of the production line, and we are going to sell those cars for good old fashioned cash, which is jolly exciting. And whilst we're doing that, we also need to do some research as well, kind of behind the scenes, in order to make fancy new things for our cars, like you know, stuff like central locking and all that kind of stuff. Because for some reason, when this game starts out, we are unaware of very basic car things, which is a little bit weird, but there we go. So then we have to fit these things to our cars in order to make them more appealing. And then we'll sell more than our competitors and all that kind of stuff. And it looks like a lot of fun. It's very, very good. I've played it for maybe five minutes. So I've not really kind of fully got the hang of it. So it has potential to go quite disastrously and hilariously wrong. Which I imagine at some point, given the complexity of what I can see before me here, <laughs> I imagine there may be some disasters along the way. But there we go. Currently it's on Steam in early access. I think it's been in early access for quite a long while. But... It is being updated relatively regularly, and I'm very delighted to say that I received this as a gift. It was before Christmas, so it's taking me a little, little while to get round to this, but I received this as a gift from the very lovely Amy Arwin over on the Discord. So thank you very much, Amy. That's very, very generous of you. I think, let's just dive straight in, shall we? Let's start a new game of production line. Now, we do start here. We, these, are, these are locked. We can't do these. I don't know if it's just because... Um, hang on, can we click the things? Yeah, we can't play them. Look, we can't play those ones. I don't know if it's because this is early access, so we can't do the medium uh, factories and the tight budgets and all this kind of stuff. Detroit! That'd be good for cars. That'd be very exciting. I'd like to play that. Or, if we have to complete this... And then maybe it unlocks the other. So, you know, maybe you complete small, it unlocks medium, complete medium, it unlocks tight budget, and that kind of thing. I'm not entirely sure. But at the moment, we only have small factory. So a size 26 by 27. Well, that's just annoying, isn't it? They could have made it square. <laughs> that's a little bit annoying. We've got 1,300,000. Okay, we've got 1.3 million starting monies. Now, I thought... We don't really want to do free play because there's no financial limit or competition. So that's just a little bit sort of a showcase sort of thing. Free play with all tech, definitely not going to do. I did think we could do sandbox. So we could play without any particular goal, but against the AI. But then I looked at the scenario and I thought this might be more fun because it gives us an end goal that we probably, if I'm completely honest, will not meet. But we can see how near we can get. So the scenario objectives are sell 3,000 cars and in amidst those 3,000 we've got to sell 250 expensive cars. Now I don't know how you define an expensive car and 750 mid-range cars and we've only got 15 days to do it. So I think let's give this a go. <laughs> I think let's play some production line in our small factory on the scenario mode and we'll see how we get on. So the very first thing the game is prompting us to do is to pick our company name and logo. So I've gone for TGC Brum Brum Cars because, you know, cars go Brum Brum. Everybody knows that for a fact. And I've picked this sort of generic kind of car steering wheelie sort of logo thing just here. Now, what I don't know is because my knowledge of cars as to uh, anybody who watches this channel regularly will know my knowledge of cars is not particularly brilliant. You know, I can get in a car and I can drive it around. Don't ask me how it works and don't ask me about the sort of uh, makes and models of any other cars around me because I don't really know. So these badges here, I don't know if these are all original badges that have been made for this game or if they're ever so slightly kind of mocking existing car maker badges. I don't really know. Like this thing here, looks a little bit like a Ferrari badge. Doesn't a Ferrari have a prancing horse? That looks like a sort of, I don't know, a fisticuffs lion or something. I don't, I don't really know what that is. But um, that sort of looks a bit like a Ferrari thing. Now, I don't know about the other ones. So more um, more car-y people will know if these are sort of, uh, yeah, uh, being styled upon existing uh, car badges or not. And there's these ones down here as well. So, yeah, please let me know in the comments if you think these are actually being based upon real ones. And, yeah, it'd be just interesting to know. Right. Let's start, shall we? So, continue. I've paused time, because uh, while you're doing that, it doesn't actually um, pause the game. It doesn't pause the game. So, uh, we've gone nine minutes into uh, the day. So, it's currently nine minutes past midnight, I assume. And um, we've already spent 100... How much is that? 100... Hang on. 155. Yes, maths with penge. $155 on, on nothing. We've not done anything. Uh, people, someone just put in a massive pizza order or something. <laughs> I don't know. So, this is what we've got. 
This is the factory, as it stands right now. This is the working space we've got in the middle. Now, I don't know what these bits are. These did not pop up in the teeny tiny tutorial we did. Uh, I don't know if you can buy them for extra room or if they're another sort of industry that we just take over and annex or something. I don't really know. But anyway, we won't get, we won't get to that right now anyway. So this is a space we've got to work with. And what we're going to do first is, this is obviously a game all about cars, manufacturing cars, having production lines and all that kind of stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is go to this green bit here and we're going to put down some offices. <laughs> Yay, forget the cars, because we need research. We want research right off the bat so we can research shiny new technologies for our cars and then apply them to the cars. And then people will buy our cars rather than our competitors' cars, which is exciting. Now, I don't know if in the scenario mode there are competitor cars, but even so, we need to research all the fancy bits and bobs to then for sell the cars in the first place. And then the scenario goals are that we have to... Um, of to sell, what was it, 250 fancy expensive cars and 750 sort of a bit expensive cars. So we need some research offices. So that is going to generate 0.83 research points per minute, and it's going to cost us 64,680 monies, which seems like quite a lot. So this green area is the sort of the offices bit. So we're going to put down a few of these. Ooh! Oh, little pop-up. Hello. You just put your first research department. So I did. There's people in white coats. Now we have researchers working for us. It's time to choose where they should concentrate their efforts to make research go more rapidly. You might wish to build more and more facilities if funds allow. Well, maybe I will. So, yes, thank you, little pop-up. Uh, we'll build, I think, we want to build a couple of these. Because getting 0 0.83 research points per minute doesn't sound very good. So I'd like to get maybe... Now, I don't know what that is. What is 0 0.83 multiplied by 3? I don't know. 240? No, 2.4? Is that about right? I'm not entirely sure, but whatever. Right, oh, hang on. Pause time. Stop moving time on. So that'll do for now. But we're not actually researching anything. So now we can go into here, into the research screen. Another little pop-up. Hello. The research screen shows the different tech that we will need to research in order to compete in the world of car production. Uh, all these things cost different points. And we can only research one thing at a time. But you can have a queue. So these are different car designs. So at the minute we can just do... I don't really know what we can do at the minute. Very basic cars on shoes. Just to make us some money. So I think uh, this is processes. So this is actually affecting the process of our cars. So that, that there say chassis specialization means we can fit axles and fit a fuel tank and fit an undercarriage. Fits a fuel tank? Do our cars not have fuel tanks? Okay. But they've all got different sort of uh, requirements and things. And then the technologies here are things we can apply to the cars. And we can do some of these right now. So if we research safety features, we don't get anything for it immediately. But then that leads on to anti-lock brakes and parking sensors and tyre pressure sensors and all these things. A spare wheel. I mean, why are we making cars without spare wheels? Surely that's a legislative thing, but okay, fine. So what do we want to go for? We need to research one of these. What is going to appeal to people? I quite like the idea of convenience features and having electric windows. <laughs> we do require door specialization as well. So also we want to make sure that if we do that, we get convenience features. We want to make sure that we get uh, things like accessories or you know door specialization or whatever to try and maximize it. Ooh entertainment that could be good just fit it with all these exciting things bluetooth phone support <laughs> what a powered seat what does a powered seat do what does a seat need power for you sit on it with your bottom i don't understand i think let's go for convenience features i think that could be quite a good thing get electric windows get automatic windscreen wipers <laughs> the future truly is here so yeah let's do that so we'll research that now Thank you very much. That's lovely. And then, when they've researched that, let's also get another thing underway. Let's get security, like central locking and a car alarm. Again, all sort of mad futuristic things. So let's get that, and we'll add it to the queue. So they've got a couple of things to be getting on with. Right, shall we go and actually do some car-based stuff? Okay, there we go. That's a good plan. So, the blue little lines at the edge are exports. That is where the cars are leaving our factory to go to the big wide world and get sold for big piles of cash. The green bits, the green arrows coming in, are where the goods are coming into our factory, so we need to connect them up to our sort of production line. These things down here are the things that are going to be assembling our cars. Now, these are in order. Also, bear in mind that I've only played this for about five minutes, 
so I don't really know what I'm doing. Hang on a moment. Why did it keep moving time on? Stop it. <laughs> I've pressed pause. Um, we have a message from the chief operating officer. It looks like we need to produce a lot more cars. Yeah, I'm with you. In the budget sedan market segment, the number of customers has exceeded the production level consistently over the last two hours. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we've made that many cars at the moment. Stop unpausing it, for goodness sake. So we've got to build things in this order. So you build the chassis, and then you fit the body. Well, I always thought the chassis and the body were the same, but whatever, okay. And then you paint it. I'm okay with that. You put paint on it, you make it a nice colour. Then you fit an engine. I get that bit. Put engine in. Don't ask me how it works. Then you fit the accessories. Then you do the electronics. Then you check that it all works. And then you sell the thing. So let's start putting these things down. So we need a chassis assembler. And it makes sense to sort of come in this way, I think. Now, one thing I can't remember is, yeah, rotating it is that way. And the arrows, those big green arrows, are saying, look, this is the way that things are going to go. Things are going to come in one side and go out of the other. Please do it properly. So let's... Let's get that just there, like so. So this thing is now a chassis assembler, and it's going to make us some sedan chassis. Chassis? Chassis. I don't know. Now, is that good? Don't know if that's good, but okay. Right, and the next thing we need to do is have fit body. <laughs> so we need to put that down, and we want it to be in line with that, with the little production, with the sort of line that's going to come from the middle. So we want that to go, let's say... Just there. Lovely. So now they can fit the body to the chassis. But we need to connect them up by conveyors. Of course we do. So this thing here is now going to go to there. So these things can move through. Look, so once they've done the uh, chassis assembly, it goes this way. And then they fit the body to it. And that kind of thing. So hopefully this is all making sense. However, these things are, if we come out of that, these things here are pallets. And currently, there are no goods here. So they've got no methods of actually making these uh, the chassis in the first place. Everyone just sort of stood around. They've got their hard hats on, <laughs> looking looking all nice and health and safety-ish. But they can't do anything with this because there's nothing for them to do. What we need to do is we need to get a resource importer, which is just here. So we click just here and say, yes, I would like to import some resources from here. And this creates the kind of overhead kind of delivery thing. So it's sort of all overhead on rails, which I don't fully understand, but I'll go with it. So we need to connect up the green bits. So if we go like that and up to there, the goods can come in on the resource importer and then whoosh along on the little overhead rails to this thing here where they're making the chassis. And then they can get on with making the chassis. But now we need to go over that side uh, so we can come through here it's all a bit faint this isn't it it's quite faint i thought it might be <laughs> slightly easier to see but no and we'll bring that down like that and now that thing is connected so the resource conveyor can get the resources to the fit body bit as well and as you can see oh complete the line okay i'm on it thanks i'll, I'll do that uh, look so now if we look Little things are going along here. They're sort of zooming along and it's all very exciting. And they're going over to here. And they're loading up the parts on this thing here and all the pallets, all the bits you need, rear arches and vents and stuff like that, all important things. And then the, the parts coming into here to make the chassis. And now the chassis is being made by little tiny robots. Hooray for robots. Right, pause time again, please. So we've got that bit in. We've got the fit body bit in. Now we need to do some painting. Now this, this I'm on board with this. I like doing this. <laughs> I, could, I could paint, it's fine. So let's put that just there, like so. Connect them up with the conveyors, like that. And the resource importers, oh no, no, resource conveyor, sorry, can just go like that. It can just go straight over. Now, as far as I believe, these things can go anywhere. They just fly overhead, over everything. So yeah, they're not particularly, they're not sort of uh, fussy about where they go in terms of what's underneath them, but you don't want them to sort of loop around. You don't want a great big looping one. <laughs> so it's going to take 15 hours for the uh, guys over here to get their hands on some parts when you could just build a thing going down there like that and they could get their hands on it that way. So you kind of have to bear that in mind. But right, we've got painting done. Now we need to fit an engine and also... We may want to think about rotating some of these round. We can put a fit engine there for now. That's fine. And then fit accessories. We may wish to turn round 
So it's going up here, past our office bods. Hey, office bods, how are you guys? Um, now, what we could do is... Yeah, I've I already... Right, okay, but what I've done is... I've done that a bit stupid, <laughs> because this is the export bit. Uh, unless the conveyor comes that way, and then we have... What was that again? Which one was that? Fit Accessories. Could we have then Fit Electronics? <laughs> Just, this this will work. It'll be fine. Trust me. It's all fine. It's all good. Can we have Fit Electronics there and Quality Check? Just there. And then it'll all be fine. Right. Let's see if we can do this because this blue bit is sort of the out ramp, if you like. That's where we go and we sell things. So that can go to there. That can go like that. That can go up to there. Right. So they're going to come through here. Then... We want that to go kind of out like this, <laughs> and then there, and then across here. Yeah, this wasn't this wasn't the best idea, was it? And then across, and then down, and then out. So that's connected to the outside world, and we're all done. We're all done with the actual sort of conveying. We just need to actually get the conveyors now, the resource conveyors, to connect to these things. So let's uh, let's bring one down the middle like that, like so. We'll push that one across to there. And then we'll just bring that straight over like that. But also, let's have a kind of quick, a quick one going out like that. So it connects up down there. So if these guys need something, it doesn't have to go do 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 past all these and queue up. It can just go straight into there. And likewise, these ones, it can just sort of flip through like that. So that kind of makes sense. I think that's all we need to do right now. Possibly. Maybe. <laughs> It, it does alarm me that this one is red. That's just the generic colour it's given. But I do think, keep thinking, it's red, it means it's broken, but I don't think it does. Right, let's move time on. So there's insufficient resources. So we should see these things now popping into life. Now what we could do, actually, what we could do is, how much is a resource importer? Get another importer in, down here, and then just connect this bit up. So we've not got that one importer down there doing all the importing we have another one just here as well doing some importing of goods so it actually makes things a little bit more efficient we're not relying on one import point we've got several and look already all these bits are coming down here down our bypass one yes everybody look i did a thing that actually might be vaguely competent okay let's check what's going on right look 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 look, look. there's a car there's a car there's a little tiny car uh what was it Sedan, a sedan car is coming in here. Oh, look. Oh, that's the chassis. Okay, right. It's kind of the the bare bones. It's not got the it's not got the car shaped bits on. It's kind of just, yeah, the 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 metal base, I suppose. <laughs> For lack of a better word, it's the metal base bit. So they're now using these car bits here to then make the actual shape of a car. Right, let's just speed on a little bit. Yeah, this is quite slow, isn't it? This is gonna be a bit of a backlog just here. This is going to be a backlog. I can see this being a bit of a problem because they're taking a long time to make this. If we could hurry that along, that's great. Right, goes into the paint shop. Um, I don't think I have any control over what colour this is going to be. So this could be fun. Let's see what colour this comes out. I hope it's a nice colour. So what we're going to do is we'll watch the entire process of a car because I think that's quite a fun thing to do. It takes a heck of a long time to paint a car, doesn't it? Crikey's. Uh, okay, maybe we'll put it on super fast speed. Yep, still lots of painting going on. All you bods, really, all the robots are doing it. Come on. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a sort of mint green colour. <laughs> I don't know if I particularly like that or not. A new loan is available. Don't need it right now, but we are a little bit poor. We are a tiny bit poor. Right, now what's this doing? What was that bit? That's fitting the engine. This is probably a very important thing. It doesn't look to me like they're fitting an engine. That looked like it was on the back. Right, this is, this is the accessories. Of which there probably aren't any. I didn't think we had accessories. Um, accessories are oh, lights and stuff. Okay, and a horn. <laughs> okay, this is the electronics, of which there aren't many. This is quality control. And then we want to then make sure that this goes into our sold bit. Next slot not found. Oh, right, hang on. What have I done wrong? Oh, there's an exporting bit. Okay, right, hang on. Right, pretend you never saw this. <laughs> there's an exporting bit. I just put it there. Right. Hang on. How do we, how would we, uh, for example, if we needed to demolish this, how would we go? Ah, right, like that. Okay, we'll do that. Here's an exporting bit, everybody. Look, yay. <laughs> right, and then that can go from there to there. Okay, so let's just have a little, uh, let's have a look at this. This bit is where they're going to export the cars. Look, they've got men here, men in suits, 
with with uh, sort of uh, flip charts with graphs on, which must mean they're businessmen and they're going to sell things. Right, now that's sorted, the car comes along, it goes over to here, and then they look at it and go, ooh, that's a nice green car, it matches the carpet, that is brilliant, well done, and hopefully it gets sold. Now, as far as I understand it, it goes up to here. So we've got one car in stock at the moment. This is a list of all the cars you have completed construction of, but have not yet sold. Oh, brilliant. Their prices will vary depending on what features each car has. <laughs> not very many. Having an empty showroom suggests your cars are too cheap, whereas having an overstock showroom suggests you need to lower your prices. Okay, so we've got one car in the showroom right now, and that's it. Um... They've got the wrong body style, some people thought. But we have just sold our very first car. Okay, we only need to sell whatever the scenario was. <laughs> what was it? Uh, we've sold one of the 3,000 we need. Hooray! <laughs> Is that all? Okay, right, yeah, there we go. I mean, I don't know if we'll ever get to that point, but whatever. Right, and then we can, if we like, go to car designs... So this is the car we're making right now. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sure this is all good. And I'll, I'm sure I won't regret clicking through this really quickly. Um, yeah, okay. Lovely. Um, this bit here tells us how much we're selling it for. So the gross... Now, this is what I don't understand. The gross profit is minus 13,918. That doesn't seem very good. That doesn't seem great. If we're... Production cost is 33350 and we're selling them for 19000 That's not good. <laughs> I would say that is very poor finances. Surely we've got to make at least a profit on it. Surely. So let's sell it for 30 for That seems very expensive for a car. That seems very, very expensive. Price category, mid-range. No, they're supposed to be budget. That can't be what we're making. Sure, the gross profit on producing this model at the current production rate making no allowance for marketing or research costs. Now, aren't we just losing vast quantities of money? <laughs> I don't understand. Ooh, but there's a nice red one. So that's good. Ah, and we have researched convenience features. Okay, right. That's very exciting. Now, let's go and have a look in here. So they're currently researching... Uh, oh, they've done the other one. Did they do them both? Oh, no, they're doing security features now. There you go. They're getting on with security features. So we've got ourselves convenience features. We could get sat-nav. Sat-nav is allowed. Now, that one there, electric windows, also requires door specialization. Okay, we're going to take a look at that in a sec. But this here unlocks upgrade slot at fit electrical components and fit electronics. Now, it does require 2,400 research points. We're getting two and a half of those a minute. <laughs> so we may need some time to get SatNav implemented. How about maybe we go down door specialization? Now, where is door specialization? Is it down here? Yes, it is, right? It's one of these um, doors. Oh, more robots, you say? Yes, please. I'll absolutely have more robots. Actually, that might be very useful on whatever that second bit was. Whatever this bit is, that might be really useful to have some more robots here. Because this is a definite choke point. This is an absolute choke point. They cannot make these. They can't do this bit quick enough. And there's a big queue just there. But okay, that's fine. Right, so, so it's all looking good. It's all looking fine. Now, right now, I think we need to get to the point where we've sold 10 cars. I think we need to get to the point where we've sold 10. Because then that unlocks a lot of these research things here, like body specialization requirement, cars sold 10. Yeah, so we need to get to 10 cars sold, and then we can start unlocking some of these specialization things. Now, I am tempted just to hurry things along a bit in terms of research and get another one of these in. How much does it cost? Um, there's a power demand. I mean, do we care about that? I assume power is just something that we pay for. I assume power is something we pay for, because that is a power thing itself. That we can make a, a power sort of uh we can make a power plant type thing somewhere. But um we haven't got one of those. So I guess because we're not generating our own power from within, we then pay a power company a vast amount of money. Okay, let's get another research office in and just speed up the research. There we go. So we've spent a chunk of money. I'm sure it's all fine. And now we'll just tonk time on incredibly quickly. And we'll hopefully sell quite a few more cars. I do like the whooshy things going around in the sky. I like them. 
We there we go. Lovely, lovely. Um, so yeah, we'll see if we can get to ten cars sold. And there they are flying through the research now, which is good. And they should be because yeah, we've got quite a lot of boffins. We've got a lot of very, very clever people in white coats. I don't know why you've got beakers. You're not doing chemistry. You're researching car components. Why have you got a beaker? <laughs> That's not going to help you research, I don't know, uh, uh, stereos or air con or doors or anything, is it? What are you doing? But another car sold. Another car just went in. Another car sold. Now, maybe that does mean that we're selling these for not enough monies. Maybe we need to pump that price up a bit. Maybe we'll sell them for 23 grand, which is still budget, but gives us a profit. Uh, also, the construction cost has come down, maybe because things are getting more efficient. Oh, I've pressed a button. Car has known defect. Has known defects. Yeah, have a twenty-five percent. Have a twenty-five percent thing there. Yeah, do that. There we go. I didn't know you could do that, but okay. Oh, I've pressed another button, and I don't know what's going on. Um, um, yes, okay. I might as well read the words. This screen shows you a breakdown of the market demand for each combination of car body style and price category. Okay, so there's budget sedans, mid-range sedans, expensive sedans, and luxury sedans. Uh, green boxes show market segments where you have cars on sale. Others are markets you have not yet broken into. You can't sell cars to everyone until you have car models that fill every combination of style and budget. Okie dokie. Okay, fine. That's nice. Um, yeah, can we can we put the price? Oh, no, the price is okay. Ah, security features are done. Okay, what we're we researching now? More robots. I like the idea of more robots. Um, okay, so let's keep going until we've sold ourselves 10 cars. So how many have we actually sold? <laughs> Does it tell us in here? Um, yeah, that's efficiency and stuff. Does it tell us how many we've sold? I'd, I'd love to know. Oh, that's quite good. When you zoom out, when you actually zoom far enough out, it shows you from uh, from up on high where each car currently is. So you, know, you can see there's a car there going through the motions. It's coming down here. It's going to quality checks. And then it's going to hopefully go and get sold. So yeah, this is a definite choke point. We need to get extra robots in down here. And I think the research guys have just done that. Um, okay, unlocked new upgrade fit electronics. Oh, oh, hang on. Right, okay, right. I think, I think that means, so now the research is complete, you need to apply the upgrade to the individual slots. Okay, right, so they don't automatically get extra robots. We have to go to certain things and say, right, you, I would like extra robots. You, you're okay, you don't need them right now. Okay, we can do that. Let's choose a new research project, however. I don't know why it was all dark just then. Even more robots. <laughs> I'm tempted. I'm tempted to get even more robots. 750 research points will not take that long. Yeah, research that now, please. That's lovely. Um, can we get ourselves this stuff yet? No, nope, we still haven't sold 10 cars. <laughs> it's slow going. Right, time down to normal. This here is slow. So what can we do? Production slot details uh, is... Um, okay, is nice. This is a stockpile. This is... There, upgrades. That's what I was looking for. Um, okay, the window shows detailed information on a car production slot. You will likely click these from time to time to see what is holding up production. Yeah, this bit. Or maybe to see what resources are being imported and consumed. The upgrades tab at the bottom of the window also gives you access to upgrading the capabilities. Yeah, that's what we want to do. So what does this do then? So that just shows us them doing a thing. So they're fitting a component, are they? Competitors research... Oh, hang on a minute. I should possibly pay attention to this. The pop-up at the bottom right of the screen shows that one of your competitors has done some research. Oh, well done them. As your rivals research car technologies, they will become less rare and thus less valuable. Don't fall too far behind. Ah, rival companies have researched power steering. Power steering already? Good grief. We've only just figured out to put an extra robot and they've got power steering. Um, Maybe we need some more research bods. Maybe we'll fit another one of them in. Right, right now. Okay, yeah, that's lovely. Thank you. Right, pause time a second. Upgrades. Ah, there. Extra robots. There we go. That's pretty good. Let's buy extra robots one. And what happens? Oh, they ping into life. Okay, let's see if that makes much of a difference. Because it should do. It should make a difference because we can now get more. That, that Look, it's twice as fast. It should be because there's twice as many robots. So hopefully... That should make a big difference. Now, can we put extra robots in there? Do they use robots in there? No, it's just a big sort of spraying chamber. 
But this should be fine. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this that's much quicker. I mean, you could say it's twice as quick. But yeah, that's good. That is good news. Now the holdup is going to be the paint thing. It looks like the paint thing takes a heck of a long time. But we're slowly getting there. Right, we're going to put in another research office. Come on, research boffins. Do more research. More research. They've all researched aircon. <laughs> They're researching things for their cars. Come on, research people. Although, to be fair... I am researching like extra robots, and robots are cool, right? Everyone loves a robot, so yeah, that's a fun thing. These don't need the extra robots right now because there's no hold up down here. Really, the paint thing is the next big hold up. Look, there's a queue there now. Um, okay, I think once extra robots is researched, we need to go forth and research some exciting car things. A new loan is available from the bank. Have we got any cars in our showroom? No, they are they are going quickly out of the showroom, which is encouraging. I like that. Um, how much until it becomes a mid-range? Can we just knock it so it's a budget? There we go. I don't understand the gross profit. I don't understand. <laughs> we were making some... Why is it so expensive all of a sudden? I don't really get it. Okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> just You carry on. I don't understand how we're making a, a massive loss on these, but never mind. So, but let's wait until this... The current research, which is worryingly blank, but I don't think it is because we're researching even more robots and we're 86% complete. Let's get even more robots done and then we'll look at actually getting some fancy new bits to put on our cars. Hurrah! Even more robots is done and it comes at a good time because rival companies are now also researching aircon. They're doing a lot of research around our rival companies. So we need to get better things now. We need to start getting this stuff in. So can we now do... Yes. We can do like accessory specialization and all that kind of jazz. So what did we have here? These icons in the corner of a tech show the competition is now offering this tech in their cars, which will reduce the available price premium. Each symbol represents a different price band in which the tech is now being made available. Okay, so that is only being put into luxury cars at the minute. Power steering, luxury cars. Okay, so central locking. Nobody else has got central locking or car alarms. If we get door specialization, that will help with both central locking and car alarms. And where was the other one we did as well? Electric windows. We could get that as well. So let's get door specialization. Let's be really, really good at doors. Um, if I can find where they are. Doors? Where is door specialization? <laughs> okay. Oh, look. There's a power production thing. Uh, which makes a power plant. Oh, okay, that's cool. Well, we might do that at some point. Right, door specialization might be somewhere else then. Paint, body. Ah, body specialization and then door specialization is down here. Okay, so we want to search that now and then add that to the queue. In the meantime, let's hope our competitors do not get too far ahead. Um, I don't think there's anything else we really need to do right now. We are keeping afloat, I think. I think we're selling enough cars in order to kind of uh, maintain a bit of a balance. So it's not like we're going to become completely bankrupt at any point soon. But we aren't making as much money as I'd like. And our competitors are uh, sort of researching sexy technologies. And we're not. We're making the same bog standard things. But we have got some more robots just here. Although the paint thing is now letting us down. It's the paint thing that is letting us down. Now, with conveyors, we do not have... These exciting things with different exits. Look, the smart junction. If we had a smart junction, we could put something in here and it can branch. That's what I believe that does. So we can come to here. It can branch out and do exciting things. Right. Okay. Unlocked. Fit roof. Fit doors. Fit body frame. I don't really know what they do. <laughs> what is this? Is this the thing we need to do? Is that a thing that we can apply to just here or what? Okay. Fit door, fit roof, fit body frame. Right, let's go down here, though. Let's get the door specialization sorted. Oh, it's just one of these things, is it? Unlocks a slot. Fit door panels. Okay. Oh, there's a new thing. Fit body frame, fit roof, fit doors. Right, hang on, hang on. I'm going to put time slow and see what this does. Um, Fit body frame. It's a different thing to the rest of the things? I don't know what that does. <laughs> is a body different to a body frame? Surely the roof is part of the body. I don't understand. 
Or are they all individual components? Oh, someone else has got central locking. You swines. Um, yeah, I was going to get central locking. Oh, that's just annoying. Paint just has this stuff as well. Paint undercoat, dry undercoat, paint finish, dry finish, polish paint work. These are all individual little bits. So rather than just a generic kind of paint area, we have paint in the undercoat. We should then go on to a dry undercoat. Is that what that does? So fit body frame, fit roof, fit doors. I'm really confused. I don't really understand what that does. <laughs> or is that just, does that make this more efficient somehow? Because these robots aren't all doing the same thing. So we kind of break down fit body into, into different bits. Is that what that's doing? It looks it. Also, they're very, that first bit's prohibitively expensive. It's 105 grand. That's quite a lot of money. We might have a look at that later, but then that breaks this down even further. <laughs> oh, I don't know if my brain can cope with this. Uh, right, okay, okay. Move time on. Let's get our next research thing done. And that will finally allow us to unlock some nice things for our cars that probably everyone else is going to have got to first. But never mind. Hooray, we've got door specialization. We've become very good at doors. Okay, right, let's choose our next project. So what tech can we get now? So we've got that done, we've got doors. So now we can unlock these things like central locking and car alarms, which annoyingly our competitors already have, which is a bit frustrating, but never mind. Let's go for central locking. Let's apply some central locking. That might be a fun thing to get our hands on. 750 research points. Yes, we'll have that now, please. And then maybe a car alarm as well. That might be quite a nice thing. Or do we go for keyless entry? Once we've got central locking, do we then go for a keyless entry? Yeah, let's do that. Let's go fancy pants keyless entry as well as central locking. I do like how some of these things are allegedly <laughs> sort of researchable. Surely, surely a heater... Surely a car heater is not a researchable thing. Uh, we know that heaters go in cars. <laughs> That's just a standard thing that most cars have. An airbag. I mean, again... You'd think maybe that's a standard thing, but uh, yeah, maybe this game is sort of progressing through time or whatever. Rival companies have researched cruise control. Oh, I think rival companies are going to be doing way better than us, but we've got 345 grand. We were on 220 grand at some point, so, you know, we must be doing something right. I'm still a little bit confused by these. I don't really know why you would want three individual bits and then breaking that down even more. Ooh. Oh, it's brought up a research thing. It's telling me to do some research into door panel manufacturers. Make windows, make wing mirrors. Oh. Oh. Do we make our own wing mirrors? Is that what that means? So we make our own things, which means that we probably don't import them in, which would save on import costs, which means our profits go up. Is that what that means? I'm still not entirely sure about this. So fitting a body, 152 grand. It fits the body, shell, the hood, the trunk, lots and lots of different things. And then fit body frame, does body, shell, hood, trunk, bumpers. That thing does the roof and that thing does the doors. But I don't know why you would want them all separate. Time for that, 32 minutes, 27 seconds to build one body. That takes 20 minutes. That takes four minutes. That's 24 minutes. That takes six minutes. So it takes the same amount of time to do all of those things. Why would you want to do that? Unless it is somehow... I, I, I really don't understand why you would want to do that. I don't really get it, but okay. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that at some other point. Right now, my objective is to just get an exciting new feature onto one of our cars. That's just my goal right now. I just want to get a shiny new thing onto one of our cars. Hopefully, that will be on its way imminently. Come on, give me whatever it was that we were searching first. Central locking. Yes. Okay. Right. Let us edit our car models. Okay. Apply vehicle options. I'm glad this thing's popped up. Uh, this screen is a quick way to assign a newly researched feature to a bunch of car designs all at once. Okay, we've only got the one design at the moment, so it's fine. You can select individual designs to get the feature, or you can select them based on price category. Okay, um, well, let's apply it to our sedans. That is very exciting. So we've now got sedans with, with central locking, which is very good. Now that should 
increase their appeal. Now also, can we then start upping the price of them? Because they've got a fancy pants feature now. Look, they're included with, with central locking. So can we push that up? Oh, now it becomes a mid-range car there with that. If we do that as a mid-range car... Oh, look, we've sold some stuff. We've sold 31 cars. Hooray! <laughs> Go us. Um, yeah, how do, we, how do we get back to that screen? Where was that screen? That was a good screen. I liked that screen. Where was it? Uh, it certainly wasn't that screen. Was it one of these? Um, no. No, it was not one of those screens. Um, okay. Okay, I don't, I don't know where that is. Now, this one does not have the thing in, does it? This one does not have the central locking in it. But hopefully the ones that have been constructed will. Now, where does the central locking go? The electronics thing, is it? Is it accessories? Or is it... No, it's this here. No, that's... that. It, this this one here? Does this what it does? I don't really know. I don't know. <laughs> is that where they put this stuff on? Upgrades. Um, extra robots. Don't really need extra robots in there right now. But yes, lovely. Thanks for the offer. Right, 360 grand. Now I want to get the next thing in. We've got three cars sitting there. I think maybe we've made this too expensive. Right, hang on, hang on. Right, slow time down a little bit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's go and bring down the price of these cars because because nobody nobody's selling insufficient features. Yeah, they're not. They don't want to buy because it it's it's they're too expensive. Um, let's bring the thing down. Oh my goodness, we're a giant terrifying pie chart. Go. Bye-bye. <laughs> That's just too frightening. I don't understand that. Right. Let's bring it down again so it becomes budget. 21,500. Now, is that now cheaper? Are people going to buy our 21,500 sedan budget vehicles? Somebody please buy these cars. Uh, they're also soon going to have fancy keyless entry. Yes, you know you want keyless entry. Yep. Okay. Bosh. Keyless entry. Done. Edit models. Let's apply it to that one as well. Beautiful. Okay, that's very good. So now our cars, our budget cars, we've got keyless entry on them, which is lovely. Right, we need to do another research. Okay, what should we do next then? So we've come along here. Car alarms seem a very obvious thing to do. They're 750. They'll be done fairly quickly. Let's get that done. Research now, please. Absolutely. And um, yeah, come out of that for now. So what I think we'll do is, what I think we'll do is, we'll come back to this. Because we've only we've only done we're on day one. We've got fifteen days to complete this. So look, that's how far we are through. That little line there is how far we are through. We've sold thirty five of our three thousand goal. So obviously this is going to get ridiculously big, and everything's going to fly through. And there's going to be thousands of cars being made eventually. But I think what we'll do is we'll come back. We'll have a little mini series of this. We'll have a tiny little mini series, and we'll just see how we get on. But I think as a sort of an introductory part, just to kind of show you what's going on with this. I think this has been pretty good. I, I, I've enjoyed playing this and we will come back and try and finish it off. I'd like to get to the end of the scenario. I mean, we might fail miserably, but but we're doing okay right now. We're selling cars and things. We could do with selling more cars, but then yes, that's fairly obvious. So next time out, we'll come back, we'll have another go and I think maybe we get more research stuff in. Even if we get two more research things in, that is a lot quicker research going on, which means we can upgrade the cars. We can maybe start getting different um, bits here, different uh, bits of the conveyor, which means it can branch off, which I think might be quite useful. And then maybe we can unlock a new type of car as well. Rather than just making sedans, maybe we can make you know off-roads or four-by-fours or people carriers or something. I don't really know. I'm talking cars and it's making me scared. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll give that a go as well next time out. But yeah, we'll, we'll finish up for now and we'll come back at another point. I really hope you've enjoyed this. Hope you found it interesting. If you did, please, please do leave a like. It's always useful, particularly when we're doing a sort of a, a new mini series or, you know, a new sort of game, introducing a new game to the channel. The likes are always useful to see what is good and what is not good. See what people perceive as interesting and what they don't really like. So yeah, likes are always good. So if you did enjoy this, please do leave a like. And also please Please do subscribe if you're not already to keep up to date with how we get on here in production line. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. How are we doing? You've just circumvented the queue. You, sir, a cheat. Oh my goodness me, there's 12 million people that just come in from an airplane. Are you a skeleton?
Are you just Skeletor? Is that all it is? You, Maddo. You are a pain. You are a scourge upon this earth. People are urinating on the floor. 